Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is an engine we, uh, one of my SMX engines that we just got done with. SMX. Just got done with for uh, Mike Morgan and Kyle Morgan out of uh, North Carolina. And uh, you can see this. Uh, I really love the way these things actually end up really kind of low profile. Even though the tube, these five inch tubes are hard to build and make layout correctly, especially when you're in a, a reverse belt drive. So we did a reverse belt drive so we could get the the blower up higher for them, and uh, instead of the typical gear drive setup. So not a big deal there. And uh, so what you're gonna uh, this is a 525 cubic inch. Uh, one of my SMXs, uh, it's a fully water jacketed, uh, all billet glory here. Um, fuel tech, super cool with the new fuel tech. This is a 720 and a 320 injector because we're going to drive it on the 320 injector on gasoline. So looking forward to that and uh, starting to sort out and figure that too uh, with the fuel tech system. So, super cool FT Spark. I uh, got the coils down here below. There's their FT Spark coils. And uh, of course, Pro Charger 136. And uh, this is, like I said, this is in our, in our drag week style version of Pro Charged and, uh, with a belt drive. So, he's gonna, Mike's going to drive this on the street, drive it to the racetrack, race it all in these power levels. Now, I have the, the lower boost uh, pulley set up on it right now, so it makes uh, uh, should be making uh, upwards in uh, like 40 pounds of boost uh, is what that pulley should be making. And obviously we can make more boost than that, um, but not for this particular application. And uh, this is, uh, like all my Drag Week and uh, SMX applications, uh, they are a, a lower compression ratio because we will drive this on 93 octane gas for hours at a time. So, uh, super cool piece. Uh, I think we'll go out and we'll make a hit on this thing and then we'll uh, take a look at the numbers. now let's come over here and take a look at the numbers and uh, you can see right up here I have it tamed down uh, so oops sorry just kicked the camera and uh, you can see right up there I have it rolling over just a little bit up here so I'm, I'm making sure I'm super safe got some timing out of it plenty rich you know we can sort this kind of stuff out of the track I just want to make sure that everything's good through the engine and uh, so you can see it, it's still climbing up here so in, the, in this uh, range here, you know, usually in the 8500-ish 80, area, you know, if I was just trying to lean on it for no real reason, uh, you know, we would be uh, 80, 8100 or so, uh, right around there in this 41, 40, I'm sorry, 42, I think it is, pounds of boost, 43 pounds of boost. Let's take a look here real quick. Uh, report and graph. Yeah, so you can see right there, uh, that is at 41 and a half pounds of boost. And uh, so we'll uh, bring up the other screen here. And I can see really nice, good solid graph through there. And so really looking forward to, you know, they're going to put this in the car, they're going to bring it back. And then we're going to sort out 
uh, the, the street drive tune and the race tune and a bigger pulley tune possibly to make more horsepower because we can't make more horsepower. This thing is only making 40, you know, 41, 42 pounds of boost. So not leaning on this thing super hard, um, but it's still making, you know, good horsepower. And, uh, and like I said, it will, I mean, RPM's out here. It's not like it's falling off a cliff. I just have it lazy up here uh, intentionally. Uh, we're just getting this thing nice and sorted out. But, you know, 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, it's making peak torque up there at 7,800, which is telling you it's going to basically roll over at about uh, uh, 1,088. Then about 8,800 8, or so is where it naturally would roll over. And, uh, you know, if I didn't have a bunch of uh, timing, just trying to soften it up up here. I was actually trying to run it up to 8,500, but not a big deal. Uh, only went to 83. So, anyways, I think that is a super good piece. I'm looking forward to them bringing it back, and we'll get this thing all sorted out, put it on the hub dyno, make sure everything's working in the car, go to the track test, work on the street tune, drive this thing. So we will actually be driving this uh, down the road, working on the street tune for, for Mike and Kyle. So, anyways, I'm Steve Morris. Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.